Hey guys, Scott from Fry Props here, and today we're going to be taking a look at kind of a cool, unique setup uh, that we created a kit for inspired by a customer question. We had a customer contact us, and he wanted to know how he could create a prop that had two movements using two linear actuators and one controller. The example that he gave is he wanted to have a character open a window curtain with one hand and then move their head to look out the window, then move the head back and have the other hand close the window curtain again. We thought that's kind of a cool idea, so we actually created a kit using linear actuators and a Peekaboo Plus controller that would allow you to create a prop just like that. So you can see here we have two linear actuators, we have our Peekaboo Plus controller, and I've wired the linear actuators into the controller so that we can uh, control both their extension and retraction of each of the two linear actuators. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and take a closer look at how this is all wired up. As you can see here, we have quite a few wires kind of jumping around the Peekaboo Plus here, but it's actually pretty straightforward. What I've done is I've taken four wires and put them into the negative of the trigger. I've taken another four wires and put them into the positive. The four wires from the negative are going to each of the NO terminals of the four different relay outputs of the Peekaboo. So we have a negative wire going to NO for one, NO for two, NO for 3 and NO for 4. I've then taken the positive trigger input here and uh, attached those via wires to the NC uh, terminal of the relay outputs 1 through 4. So with negative and positive power going to either NO or NC of each of the four relays, we then have connected the actual linear actuator powers to the common inputs of all the different relays. So for the first linear actuator, we have positive going to common for one and negative going to common for two. That means when we activate relay output one, the first linear actuator is going to extend. And when we activate relay output two, it's gonna retract. On the other side, we have the power wires from the other linear actuator here coming in, positive going to C on relay output three, negative going to C on relay output four. So when we activate relay output three, the second linear actuator will extend, and when we activate relay output four, the second linear actuator will retract. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in action. Because both linear actuators can draw up to five amps under load, we're using a 12 volt 10 amp power supply. Now the Peekaboo Plus controller also needs some amperage to run, so we wouldn't recommend uh, operating both linear actuators at the same time. It's better to operate one and then the other. It's important to remember also that if you're using linear actuators, they do require a duty cycle. That means that they need to be allowed to rest. They can't run continually in and out forever. For specifics on the duty cycles for the different types of linear actuators, you can see the product pages on the website. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our power supply to the controller. Allow the controller to start up. Now we can program the Peekaboo Plus to control the linear actuators. So if we hit record, we can see that pressing number one will extend our first actuator. Pressing number two will retract it. Pressing number three will extend our second actuator. And pressing number four will retract that actuator. So we could create a variety of different props using this sort of scenario. So let's uh, take the scenario that was given to us as a question initially. Let's pretend that this actuator has the hand that's opening and closing the curtain, and this one has the head that's leaning forward. So we would just hit record, we would extend the first linear actuator, that opens the curtain, then the second linear actuator would extend, which makes the head peer forward, then we would retract the second actuator for the head to come back, and then retract the first actuator for the curtain to close and tap record. Once you've recorded your animation, the Peekaboo Plus will play it back each time it's triggered. So you could attach a motion sensor, a step pad, or any other trigger to the Peekaboo Plus. It would activate your linear actuators on your prop. So if we just hit play right now, we'll see it play back our sequence. I re-recorded it to speed it up a little bit just for demo purposes. So first we'll have the curtain open, then the head lean forward, head leans back, curtain closes. If you wanted to reprogram it, you simply hit record on your peekaboo and enter in your sequences of extension and retraction. Then tap record again to save the program. 
This could also be used to create a prop where a lid opens and something comes out, or any number of different uh, prop designs. If you have a cool idea for something like that, you should leave them uh, in a comment to this video. Of course, if you have any questions or if there's uh, something you would like to see us do a video about, leave that as a comment on this video as well, or send us an email at sales at Thanks!